All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Flannel on Flannel with Daniel and Tobias, number two. Our number two. Number two episode. Number two episode. Of us together. And here it goes. Here goes nothing. We're outside this time. Yeah, we are outside. So if you hear hear any wind, it's there on purpose. We don't care at this point in time. It's just we created the wind just for this, actually. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. So if you don't like it, then get out of here. You're <laughs> not welcome to listen to our podcast. We were like, God, we need the wind today. We need those people to think we're actually outside when we're inside. But we're yeah. outside. But we're not. But we're not. But we're, no, we're not. We're just giving you the illusion. So if you hear, you know, like kids screaming and stuff. The inside is just outside with walls. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Um, yeah, we're, we're uh, recording from Tobias's inside. <sighs> And not not the outside, but we're not in we're Tobias in is inside. <laughs> okay. That just that's just conjuring up all sorts of <laughs> terrible thoughts. Please tell me I told you about about the the guys that put the gerbil up his ass. Well you're gonna have to tell me now because we <laughs> said it on air. <laughs> so they they take like the cylinder glass tube and they put they put I a gerbil inside of it? They put a gerbil inside of it to uh, to let it cl- crawl into the guy's asshole. Right? Oh my god, that's awful! But then, but then it it didn't want to come back out. <laughs> right? So they didn't want it. It didn't want to come back out. So they're trying to figure out like a way to get this like lure it out. I'm sure this is an urban legend. I don't. I don't think this is real. Oh, I'm pretty sure this would kill somebody. Well, so what happened was, um, uh, the guy without the gerbil in his ass, uh, little match. And thought it was gonna lure out the, <laughs> the the gerbil, except a methane pocket happened, so it exploded his insides and the guy's face that was near the end. And cooked the gerbil. Yeah, well, I I don't think that gerbil lasted through the the fire of. Methane I don't think the guy with the gerbil in his ass lived through that story either. No, I don't think so. No. And that's why I think it's an urban legend. Because why is it so funny if it's real? Because well, life is terrible. <laughs> it's very true. Um, so today, um, we found out that, uh, iced coffees are 60 cents plus tax right now at McDonald's. And somehow that equals $1. Yeah. I, I'm just really stupid. And I thought that was a dollar, um, in my head. Doesn't make sense. The new, uh, 60% tax on beverages. (laughs) No, what I was, okay. So what I was thinking was that like, well, there's 60 seconds in a minute, so that's gotta be a dollar. And I wasn't really thinking. (laughs) How stoned did you get before you came here? N- I, I'm not. Uh, also, how stoned are we willing to get on the podcast? Cause Very. I, I, got a lot of s- I got a lot of weed upstairs. I, I brought some. Food. I have a briefcase that I use just for weed. I think you it makes it me look. Me. It makes me look fancy. I like that. It's, it's, c- it's my dad's old leather briefcase from the 80s. It's got stains all over. It used to just have one big stain on it when he spilt a beer on it. And then I have since spilt many things on it. <laughs> Lots of residue. That's uh, mostly on the inside. That's mostly on the inside. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not the outsides. But yeah, we could roll up a couple of doobies. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that on air too. Uh, I guess it's kind of windy out though. No, I, c- I can roll out here. This is this is totally fine. I used to roll joints on people's roofs. Mom, if you're listening, I never did that. I was lying. I just want to be cool. <laughs> is she home? No. Oh, she's not home, so she no. can't hear you. Well, but she she has both of us on Facebook, so she sees these things. Oh yeah, but I'm sure she doesn't listen to them now, or does she? She said she listened to some of the of the last one and thought that we were idiots. Oh yeah, for sure, because yeah. we are. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it was already her opinion of me. Uh, yeah, yeah, of both of us, oh, I both think. Of us, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> <coughs> you know, and it's a great parenting technique. You just set the bar really low, and I'll always meet it. And then <laughs> you're a great parent. <laughs> Oh man. So other than the iced coffees that I got from McDonald's, I got a McChicken, spicy habanero McChicken. Oh, and how was that? I'm telling you, man, I fucking hate McChickens and I don't know yeah. why I keep buying them. Yo, isn't the junior chicken way better? It is. And I don't know why. And it's so much cheaper. I'd rather eat three junior chickens for the same price as one McChicken. I think I'm just gonna quit McDonald's. I've also have done that. Because it's just like it's it doesn't taste good anymore to me. Nah. And like, there's the menus limited, or was at least limited for a while. The service is always so slow. Like the one by my work, 
it's all like fucking 14 year old kids and the service is terrible they yeah. laughed at, at Brittany when she made an order like she literally just asked for like a McChicken meal and the girl goes like uh, what <laughs> like how fucking stoned are you at your job right now like yeah, like th- that one's a, just a, a terrible McDonald's. The the one yeah. across from my place, I don't know, like, well, not not my place now, but my old place. But yeah, that one down by the mall. Yeah, so they got <coughs> shut down once, like ten years ago, and then torn down and rebuilt, and then they were really good after that. After that, I don't think they were shut down. I think they were just gonna renovate it anyways. No, nah, I heard at the time that they were shut down. It like was pretty grimy. Problems, yeah, problems. Yeah, I think I think they had mold, and it turned out that they couldn't just get rid of the mold. They, they had to tore the building down. Yeah. Um. So when it got remodeled, that's when I started working on that one. No. But um, now, like, it's it's terrible. Like, every time I go there, I always get the same thing. Usually, I get like free McDoubles, no pickles, add mayo. People always look at me weird when I get rid of the pickles. I just don't want them on a burger. I'm sorry. I love pickles on every form of sandwich. I'd I'd prefer pickles on its own. Pickles are fine on their own, but they also are perfect on any form of sandwich. Uh, sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, so so Hot you're saying with pickles, so you're saying when you go to a diner, pickles. when you get a go to a diner and you get the the spear of pickle, do you put that speared pickle onto your burger? No, no, I just take a big bite of the burger and a bite of the pickle. That's so weird. I'd re- I just eat the pickle on its own first. That's just because you like sticking pickles in your mouth. Oh, Jesus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I get the same order. Three McDoubles, no pickles, add mayo. And every single time, I'm asked to pull over to the side. And I'm like, how can you screw this up? Like, wh- why do I have to pull over to the side when everyone else is getting their food and it's probably way well, more complicated? Because they're stone 16-year-olds doing a job they don't care about. So they're essentially just robots. I don't get it. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm gonna boy pot, uh, boycott McDonald's other than their iced coffees now. No, you know what's been really hard is there's an A and W over there that oh, I, I can walk to and it's yeah. 24 hours and it's so delicious. There's a little C's there too. Oh, I know. I've been really good though. I'm not eating up. Yeah, I I've, I've been pretty good about it until this. Yeah. Jeez. Actually, I had Wendy's last week too. I had one of those uh, chicken McMuffins the other day. That's so good. It wa- it was re- it's really good, but I'm still you know what it's that chicken. It gets me ugh. just thinking about it. Um, <coughs> do you have rolling papers? Oh yeah, I got a whole kitted out briefcase. Uh, okay, well go grab the briefcase. We'll be right back. Bermuda, Bahana, come on, pretty mama. We are recording now. Fine. <coughs> I'm rolling a joint. It's and recording. It's multitasking. I'm a very talented individual. Except we can barely hear you. Well, so cause, cause the microphone's behind me now. Hello. I don't know why I feel like I need to say that every time you bring the microphone to me, but I do. Go. Cocaine melting in my hand. I don't even think that's what they say, but it's no, it's like not that. even close. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they'd say something about cocaine melting in their hand. Cocaine melting in my hand. Dan, do you Dan need to talk about something? Way down in Kokomo. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. <sighs> uh, you're you're already done. One. Dude, I can't roll that fast. I'm telling you, man, it's a skill of mine. Well, you're right about the protesters when when you were telling me last night. Yeah, it's fucked up, right? It's Yeah, it's just getting worse and worse. It's insanely violent. And there's like these white supremacists and and (laughs) and whatnot that are uh, disguising their identities and going into the crowds and starting fires and starting breaking windows and and, and whatnot. And then when people get angry at them and approach them, they fight. They fight them or they threaten them, and they're just instigating these these events. And then the police come and they react to these protesters who haven't been violent, and they start like shooting them with the rubber bullets and shit. And then they they ha- react because they don't think they've done anything because there's people in there that are inciting it. 
It was a huge mess right now. It's insane. I know. And like, I like that cop I did car that drove into the crowd. I s well, I s luckily today, or it maybe it happened yesterday, but uh, there was cops that actually went out and and started helping the protesters. Yeah, yeah. It depends on what city and what state. Like some cities, it's really bad. And some people have been posting tweets that they were in the crowds when the when the cops were like kneeling and praying with them, and that as soon as the uh, as soon as the media left, that they were uh, maced and beaten. Yeah. So it's like who's who's really telling the truth? Like, how do we know? We don't know, right? Like, there's videos of cops like just fucking tear gassing whole parks, or like tear they tear gassed they it, they arrested a team of reporters from CNN and then they tear gassed another team of reporters in a different city. Wow. Yeah. Both times it was on air. It's crazy that, like, this is happening. I, I like, we talked about this before. I expected this to happen. But at, at one point, I thought it wasn't going to happen anymore just because it didn't seem like we were going down that road or the United States was. But now, yeah. And now it's just like... And if there's anybody who could start a civil war in that country, it's Trump. It's Trump. Like... It's gonna happen. They, they, like you've got already got race riots. He's all he wants to do is just m mobilize the military to shut it down, and he's already claiming that the election's gonna be rigged and that there's voter fraud. So, uh, people even think that if he gets voted out, that he won't willingly step down. No, he's not going to. So it's gonna be it's gonna become to an armed conflict at some point in time, whether the military forces him out or if people go along with it. Yeah, even Republicans don't even like him right now. But. Most of the states is still ignorant white people, and they like them. That's a shitty thing, because, like, my family's kind of ignorant then, because they, they like him. I think, I, honest, I mean, I don't mean to be mean, but I think you have to be if, you, if you're going to support him. Because, like, his entire career has been terrible. Got, got rich and famous off of screwing people. He's still well. He's still getting rich and famous out, uh, off of screwing yeah. people. Yeah, and now he's running the most powerful country of the world, and he's going to run it into the ground. Mm -hmm. So that's what he does to every business he takes over. Says he's going to make it great, runs it into the ground, stiffs somebody for the bill, and walks away and fucking does it again. Mm -hmm. And he's and he's done it so many times. He's, he's, he's doing it to America. Yeah, he's done it so many times. He's got it down to a T. Like, like after all the shit that's gone down with him in office. And having all these ties with, like, Jeffrey Epstein and shit like that. Disgusting people. Or, like, I saw today, like, it was um, somebody matched up a video feed of uh, Trump saying that nobody expected there to be this pandemic or epidemic of this proportion. And then a video of, like, five years beforehand, Obama being like, this is going to happen. It could be as early as five to ten years from now. And we're going to have an airborne virus that's very deadly on American soil. And we need to be ready for it. And we need to be ready for it globally. And then everything that he said in motion, Trump tore apart. So, uh, yeah, so, well, Obama had to uh, deal with H1N1, right? So he And Ebola, they were helping Africa with Ebola, right. which was so very deadly. So he knew what could possibly happen. He already had to deal with it at one point. Apparently, he sent out, within the first couple weeks, he sent out like 83 million masks across the United States. <coughs> yeah. Obama did, right? Yeah. But then... All of those masks never got replaced. I know I was reading about yeah, like Trump in, never um, replaced them. in uh, Los Angeles or uh, Vegas or something like that. They were sent masks that were 10 years old that were from the H1N1 stockpile and they were moldy and unusable. It's like you didn't even care for your leftover equipment properly or didn't even sell it to somebody to use in the meantime so you'd have money to buy stuff when you need it. Yeah. And he didn't, he didn't do the Defense Protection Act until later on, and not even for the right reasons. That's ridiculous. Like, everything was handled so poorly. Like, the, how the do you have medical supplies just sitting around going to waste? Like, anybody in the world would have bought those, and you could have made your money back. And instead, you let them go bad, and then you sent them out anyways. That's it's true. It's insane. It's insane. Want to know what's even crazier is that I heard that the, the TV shows, like, The Good Doctor and... I forget what the other one is, but like a network television show. Hello. A network television show. They um they're sending their their costumes because they're real stuff, their gowns and their masks. Yeah. They're sending their costumes to help people out. That's insane. 
What's up, Dad? What's up? Nothing? We're 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 recording on location today. Live from the backyard. Well, it's not live, but live. I think the episode will be titled "Live from the Backyard." I think so too. We're not the backyard because Toby said that we're just uh, making up all the sounds around us. <laughs> this is all staged as a conspiracy. <laughs> there is no outside. We're all just in a really big room. <laughs> <laughs> They're just really far away, so it looks like one big one. Yeah. Did you end up finishing uh, Space Force? Yes, I did. <coughs> when the, or when the, in the, the, the hearing is still my favorite episode. Like when the old senator agrees with him and then starts saying how the world's flat. And he's yeah. just like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it. And the Earth is round. No, it's flat. And no, it's rectangular. Not. <laughs> 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 it's 2021. <coughs> oh, that hurts. Also, we just had a cameo from Tom, to Toby's dad. Um, the one and only. Yeah, I was just telling Toby a story the other day about Tom's uh, birthday slash retirement party. What was it, two years ago now or something like that? Coming up four. Coming up four? Coming up four, two years. Oh. <laughs> I was like, Sorry. did I really miss two extra years in there? No. Um, no, no I, said, I said that badly. So, so, yeah, like, I don't really have that great of equipment for smoking weed, but Toby does, so... Or <laughs> at the party, I ended up smoking a pretty large bowl and being so smacked that I, I had to take a poop. And I took one up in the upstairs As bathroom. One often does when you smoke too much weed. Well, I of mean, course. like, it just had to, it had to happen. Well, it's known for its laxative like effects. Well, yeah, because it's smoke. <laughs> it releases, or it relaxes the sphincter. Um, so yeah, maybe if you're blowing smoke up your ass. <laughs> so, anyways, I take a poop and. I had the worst anxiety that everyone at this party knew that I took a shit upstairs and they were all talking about how bad it smelled behind my back. It's because I told everybody to do that. Like, it was it yeah. was probably the most... I think I'm good. You still want to smoke this? No. Mm -hmm. The the most danky poop I've ever done. And, of course, it had to be at a, a retirement party. Like with all my good friends around and like other, pl the the place was pretty packed too. Yeah, it was pretty good turnout. Oh, there was a lot of people there, and mm -hmm. we're all hanging out in the kitchen. And I'm like, oh my god, maybe maybe the poop particles have stuck on me, and I still smell in here too. Oh my god, I didn't speak for an hour or two. I don't know if you remember that, but I did not speak because I was so in my head. That's that's hilarious. Yeah, I I haven't been that stoned since. And nice. I think that's why that story has scarred me. <laughs> <laughs> changed my life, man. It changed my life. I sobered up after that day. <laughs> no, I just learned to not poop at other people's houses. Or or smoke a big fat bowl and then take Does a Does this poop. still sound alright? For the most part, yeah. Cool. I might have to boost you later on. Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Rio's sitting behind me. It's really weird. I got a warm butt right now. Rio's a cat. Rio is a cat. So I was I was trying to write a commercial last okay, night because yeah, you move out of the way, Rio. Yeah, this is my chair. Like, what are you doing? Rio, relax. Rio, just go somewhere else. Okay, there we go. Turd nugget. Okay, so oh, come on, like. Uh, yeah. I called dibs on this chair. I mean, she knows better than that. <laughs> So, um, <coughs> yesterday was my drummer Paul's daughter's birthday. Haley, she turned 20. Actually, I, I'm going to show you this picture first because it's hilarious. And <laughs> I just chirped her all night for it. It's, um, oh no. It's her, uh, birthday sign for the quarantine, right? 
so it says, today is my 20th birthday, you honk, we drink. Nice. Nice. But I didn't read it like That's that. That's pretty dope. I didn't read it like that the first time. All right, how'd you read it? I read it <laughs> side by side. Okay, let me see. Today is my... No. Oh, today... Oh, today, 20th, you honk, is my birthday, we drink. <laughs> and the funny thing, it still works. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It still works, too. <laughs> is my it birthday, we drink. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Haley, like, how stoned were you when you were writing this? Today, Because there's such a big gap honk? in the middle, too. There's just, like, such a large gap. Well, that's hilarious. Today, 20, you honk. <laughs> Oh my god. So for her 20th birthday, I didn't get her anything. All I did was I gave her the rose that you gave me. The glass rose. Oh, that's cute. Wanna you know told what her I gave it to her? <laughs> I told her that you made it. Oh. Yeah, well, so it's very go. special. She knows who she's listened to the podcast before, so she knows who you are. No way. Yep. That's a real listener, not just some Russian bot. Shout out to Haley. Scott. Hi Haley. Thanks for listening. Um <laughs> You're our biggest fan. But but now, w- the first thing <laughs> she says when she gets it is, oh, this is beautiful. Looks at the bottom of the stem and is like, this would be perfect for dabs. <laughs> <I'm> nice. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like nice. Haley, come on. I, I just gave you a gift. <laughs> the, the oh, that's perfect, Haley. You do that. <laughs> Use my beautiful glass flower to smoke drugs. There you go. I would do the same thing. Th- he's giving you permission, so I can't, I can't take that back. It's... He gave it to you, Haley. Have fun with it. <laughs> it <was so laughs> the rose. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. It'd be perfect for dabs. Oh, <laughs> what? Yeah, I haven't smoked dabs for so long. What are you looking all around for? I don't know. It looked like you were looking that way. And I, I just looked like, like not at you. Like, wait, I just got to stare at you the whole time? No, I, 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 j- I just. It's awkward, man. I just, I thought there was someone behind me. I thought I, th- I thought I was going to get pranked or something. I wish. Yeah. I wish too. Uh, now we're gonna have to have a prank wars on this game. I feel it on this game. On yeah. this game. On this game. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, prank wars is definitely gonna be a thing. I like pranking people for fun, but I also like scaring people for fun. Oh, we could do that. I um I have an addiction. Like at my retail job, like I I just I think love we should just let the, the pranking evolve over the summer and towards Halloween, and we get scarier as time goes on. Yeah, um, I have a pretty good idea for the Halloween one, but it's a little excessive sometimes. It's also six months away. Um, it's less. Four months? I think it's five. Five months? Yeah. Right, five is smaller than six. Yeah, should have gone to that before four. Because, because my birthday is in October. My half birthday is April 14th. Who knows that? I, I Who do. knows <laughs> things like that? Are you a 14-year-old girl? Well, that's when I figured it out oh <laughs> when God. I was a 14-year-old girl. <laughs> so you grow a very nice beard for a 27-year-old woman. <laughs> hey, you know, like, they, they, my parents actually found me at the circus. Not a big deal. Baby with a beard. Yep. And an unspecified gender. That's why I don't... Like, what a find. Wha- that's why I don't look like either my mom or my dad. Thinking about it now... And we're not like each other whatsoever. So I've got to be adopted. Great. Or stolen. Stolen. I mean, that story wasn't sounding like there was a lot of paperwork filled out. (laughs) Stolen. How would they steal me? Well, babies are small. You put them in your backpack and run away. So you're saying they took me from a park or something? No, you said the carnival. Oh, the carnival? So I was stolen. Or circus? Did you say circus? I said circus, but carnival is kind of the same thing, right? I don't know. Are are they different? That's a good question. I, I we better say they're different in just in case like some juggalos come around and get mad at us and get mad at us. Well, you get beaten up by circus people. Well, I was gonna. S- I or said juggalo folks. I said juggalos. It's okay. I'm not discriminating. <laughs> I could be beaten up by either circus people or carnival folks. Well, you it's know fine. what a juggalo is, right? Is that like a gigolo? N- no, it's um the insane clown posse fans. They're called Juggalos. Oh, you know what? I did know that for some reason. Well, they're th- it's a cult. That's disturbing. And they have carnivals. Probably not fun ones. Um, for the most part, I'm pretty sure they're sober, 
or the or there's like clicks that are sober because that you know the pop shocking. fago fago pop fago pop f a y g o fago fago it's made in detroit okay insane clown posse uh, pop that's all it is is it's a fago and it it costs like i think 99 cents for a pop this large and it's like it's dirt cheap because it's so sugary and it's so bad for you. And um, well, that's just awesome. But uh, th- I'm pretty sure they just spray that all over each other at the. Oh man, our wind effects are coming through great. Oh, I know. That was right? a good one. You can hear the kids. Okay, so like, the ki- the kids. We I didn't had to steal kids. No, uh, not, no, 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 we did not steal kids. No, I had to. Yeah. I had to sneak into someone's house though, and record them from a decent distance because you can't can't be too close but you can't be too far away when you're recording the audio gotta get that nice crisp sound just want us to everybody know i had nothing to do with <laughs> this plan okay <laughs> <laughs> um the birds that one was a little bit of a different story um we stole the birds <laughs> they're actually tearing up um, my basement apartment right now um, they're <laughs> they're shitting all over the place. Bugle doesn't even know what to do. He's just laying there watching. Have you told your landlord about this uh, podcast? Uh, no, no, I have not. Well, then probably don't. <laughs> <laughs> I pr- I probably don't want to either. Um, <laughs> but the wind, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the wind was actually we recorded that when I was using my new manscape tool on Toby's balls, and I was like. <laughs> You know, just blowing off the extra, the dirt and hair. Are you sure you didn't just dream this up? N- no, like I, I, like you know, I shaved your taint. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> but I guess it would be handy to have somebody there to blow on it for you because I, I, like you just can't get that angle yourself. <sighs> Unless you take like a towel and just go. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Or just one of those little tiny fans. <laughs> <laughs> and then instead of the water. Instead of putting in the water, you put that the because it comes with like uh, spray in the manscape thing. So you put that in there, and it's just just missed it. Missed it. Yeah. 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 Just misting mm-hmm. of aftershave for your balls. Balls. It smells really good. Mm. It's very interesting. I like sometimes uh, since it smells so good down there now, I'll just like wipe a little bit of the sweat and smell, and it sm- still smells great. That's that was gross. Can you edit that out? No, I, everyone likes the smell of their own balls. Mm, I don't know what to say to this. It's the truth. So we should not talk about that. W- well, what do you mean? Snowpiercer. We can watch Snowpiercer tonight. Oh, that's right. Should be episode three tonight. Yeah. Well, I think I think it just said jur- June first, so it might already be out. Yeah. Yeah. We could. They probably, probably did probably it at midnight. Now, yeah. 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 That's gonna be great. I'm really curious what's going to happen with this series because it's already like, like in order to make it a series and go longer, like it already has to be very different from the from the movie, mm-hmm. and the movie is like incredibly dark and has like this horrible it's twist. It's the same director slash creator as Parasite now too. Yeah, that's probably going to be pretty good. Boon Boon, uh, I forget his name. I don't know. But I watched Parasite the other day. Have you seen it? Um, I think so. I watch a lot of movies. Parasite, the. <coughs> I feel like you would know if you've seen it. Maybe I didn't. Because when I watched it, I was ex- like, I don't, I don't watch previews or advertisements or anything, but for some reason, I still had like a preconceived notion of w- of what was gonna happen because it's like you know it's an award winning movie by this guy and I know his films like I used to watch them and study them in university, right? So. I was expecting like a a monster movie. Oh, you know what? You were telling me about this. Yeah. Yeah. The the yeah, monster. Maybe movie. maybe I don't maybe this isn't what I thought it was. Yeah, I thought it was a monster movie, but it was not. It was like like just people leeching par- being a parasite and leeching off of rich people when they're not there. So like the mom of the the family's like a housemaid. And okay. she'll work for th- these people, um, and whenever they leave for a certain amount of time, they just bring uh, she brings her family in to spoil themselves in this rich 
ass motherfucking house. That's hilarious. But things go terribly wrong, of course. Well, of course, there there wouldn't be enough of a show. Yeah, well, it's two hours long. There has to be something good. Mm. It was a very interesting movie. Like, it was very, very good. It was just not what I expected. I see. Just like, you know, the movie The Fighter with Mark Wahlberg and Christian Bale. You know, I don't think I watched that, actually. No. Well, it's called The Fighter, so you would assume it's going to be about fighting. It was a, it was about drug abuse. That's what that movie was about. Oh. And it really pissed me off because I was expecting some fighting. And there wasn't really that much fighting. Fighting addiction. No. Drug addiction. The fighting addiction. Oh, of and fighting, fighting that addiction? Fighting an addiction. Oh, God damn it. Yes, fighting an addiction. <laughs> That's what they're going for. Sure. Sure. Fighting for an addiction. No, fighting an addiction. Yeah. Sorry. Is that not what I'm saying? You, you <laughs> said fighting for an addiction. <laughs> I feel like that's what I said, though. No, no, no. You added the word for, which changed the whole sentence. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah, it does change a few things. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, there's like, yeah. I've I've I have some uh, I misinterpret text messages all the time. Uh, that doesn't sound like you. That's definitely me, and because um, <laughs> like I, I'm uh, like I'm a sensitive guy, and I s- mm. tends to I tend I tends to overreact when uh, something bad is gonna happen or something like that, right? So, someone messaged me. Thing, oh, I can't remember the exact sentence. It's like, A, whenever you're average, you're just average. And I was like, wait, what? Like, it, it just didn't make sense with what she was replying to, right? And it sounded like she was directing it to me, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Because she was writing your, as in Y O U R. Yeah. Instead of you are. Why are you are? So your average, like the average that is yours. Y- yeah. So she w- it is Y-O-U-R-E essentially. Why are you are with an apostrophe? Yeah. Would is, be that. I is that you. You yourself. You are average. Yeah. You are feeling average. Yeah. But she was asking about your average. Yeah. So she was basically calling me average. And I was like, excuse me. Like, what are you saying? <laughs> She's like. She's like, oh, I was just saying that uh, that's how I feel. I was like, okay, well, you're still confusing me. She's like, how is it confusing? I'm like, you're writing it so weird. I'm just trying to understand. It did not work out. That conversation did not work out. It didn't sound like it was working out. No, she's kind of mean. And I hope she listens to this because she knows. She knows. (laughs) Yeah, that's right. You know you're a meanie person. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think your boyfriend dumped you? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and not just because of the crabs, right? Oh, I don't think she has crabs. And I can't. Oh, no, no, no. We can't say that. No, no. <laughs> we haven't said any names. We can say anything we want. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of people that do listen to know who I'm talking about. Oh, well, other than you, for you shouldn't bring people up that people know. That's true. That's true. Yeah, but that's why I didn't say any names. Well, that is, you know. Not the dumbest thing you could have done. Should we have another pop? Yeah, absolutely. Off the Florida Keys. Are we recording? Oh, we are now. Oh, here we are. Okay, yeah. Welcome back. I always turn it off when he least expects it, and then he gets mad because I always tell him how funny he is when I'm walking away, but I didn't feel like editing anything today, so I just cut him off. He didn't want me to catcall him when he was walking away because now he's actually in the room. Oh, that's right. We're in a room. That's right. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Almost forgot with all these brilliant sound effects. I know. I I got that perfect balance of the the ambient and um, the reverb and like the leaves blowing. Oh man! I even I even made sure to go outside a lot this morning and get a lot of sunlight, so it looked like I spent a lot of time outside today. I don't know why he did it, because he knows that there's no camera. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, sh- 
sh- okay, so no one can see what he's wearing right now, and it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> fr- first of all, where's your shirt from? Mark's Work Warehouse. So Mark's Work Warehouse sold that shirt. T- wait, it's a nice shirt. It's a, but it seems kind of thick. No, it's like it's pretty light. It's the material is really nice. So it's breathable, and it's a it's a collared shirt. Uh, it's gray button down. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Um, he is rocking some red plastic glasses that he got from the beer store, I think. No, these were from just some random thrift store. Okay, just some random thrift store. Perfect. And then he's wearing and one basketball shorts. Yes. Yeah. Which I haven't taken them off since I worked out and went for a walk. And then, you know, which would be okay. Which would be okay if, you know, they matched his shirt. Well, they matched the, like, shirt i was wearing when i was working out i always make sure you mean I the wife beater. I'm working out. no <laughs> i was wearing a t-shirt at the time then i put a wife beater on to go for a walk so i'd get more sun when i when i saw you come out of the back gate i was like he looks like he grew up in waterford michigan in the trailer park or southern ontario like clearly they're the same thing i don't think they're the same thing i would think so no they're not <laughs> where i'm from so, um, okay, so anyways, the shorts, they would also be okay if they were a little bit shorter and not past his knees. <laughs> Only when I'm standing up. <laughs> and then and then he's wearing Asics, which I guess suit, suit the shorts, but definitely not the shirts short combo. Yeah, I wear running shoes all the time now, though, because my feet are fucked up, and this is way more comfortable. I guess I, I, I can't really chirp you. I'm wearing short shorts that I made for myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you are. Yep, they these are uh, jeans I got in uh, the ninth grade. Wow, they really have a lot of memories, eh? Are Dude, they the ones you like peed in in class? Sorry, what? Are they the ones that you peed inside of in class? I don't think I've ever peed in my pants during class. There's there's been times oh. where I've sharded. There's been times where I've sharded. Oh right, yeah, you're you're the oh, poop sure. yourself guy. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. Forgot yeah. about that for a second. <laughs> <laughs> I I just trust farts way too much. That's all it is. Don't trust anyone or anything. I yeah, farts. I've started to not trust farts just in case a little bit of poop comes out, and then it'll be it'll be the uh, Tom's retirement party all over again, where I th- just think I smell like shit everywhere oh, I go. You, you actually will. <laughs> 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 it won't be in your head this time. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. Um. So I do, I do like um, the intro song that I originally had for Flannel on Flannel with Daniel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah but you want to change it up now. Uh, I d- yeah, I do, and it just feels too. There's not enough to it. I also like, yeah, I didn't know what to record, and I just wasn't being creative at the time, so. I, there is no lyrics to it or anything, right? You want lyrics? I want something. Oh, hot damn! I just, I just wanted to be to be epic. I think we should record it in like Korean, like some sort of anime theme song. Well, what I was gonna do is it makes no sense whatsoever. I don't even watch anime. But, <laughs> but what, what I was gonna <laughs> say is, I want uh, our listeners and uh, fans to hopefully send us something that they record. It could be whatever, funny serious just send it to us or or just comment a suggestion of what we should include in it oh that's even better too so then we have an idea of what to record for it um lyrics sounds instruments uh topics for sure yep. the, the lyrics i could I, I could see a lot of people doing you know they could a lot of people might send in some lyric suggestions it's an open book and be as mean as you want to be Especially to Dan. Yeah. He deserves it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm down. Um, <laughs> um, watch it just be all hate for Toby <laughs> for saying that, too. <laughs> it's just like, hey, Dan, he deserves it. Hey, Dan, he deserves it. <laughs> Toby sucks. <laughs> no? Well... I don't understand why we're getting people to suggest a new theme song if you just wrote it. Okay, that's not it. That's that's not. I j- <laughs> Although that drop would be pretty good. 
Toby sucks. <laughs> hey, it could be worse. I'll give you that. Also, that's what she said. Okay, and then Toby doesn't even know how to record, so I was going to say he should record one and send it to me. That's and not I'll true. I purposely downloaded that voice recording app so that we could do that. I did that so I could record you things. Okay, well, well. And then I have since not recorded him anything. Yeah, that's true. So what I was saying is you should record your idea and send it to me once you're done. Okay. He doesn't know what okay. to do. Okay, and we we should go we should you should get TikTok to this and we should duet it. <laughs> I don't want TikTok. A- a- anyone who supports TikTok right now, good for you, but I fucking hate it. <laughs> I I don't understand why. It just it's so it's so pointless. I don't want to see all social media is pointless, <sighs> really. I disagree. I think a lot of Instagram it's just to sell you things. is great true but whatever tiktok is selling i ain't buying like no way dude like if i could uh, you know what if i could just demolish tiktok all together i would be happy but why because it's really annoying and when when like i'm working and and there's like the the high school teenage girls that are also working at the same time and they're just referencing tiktok yeah, videos the entire time and i'm like do your fucking job <laughs> yeah but that's because you're like 10 or 12 years older than them now and that even was, that was gonna happen whether it was tiktok or not dude even if i was in in high school and tiktok was around which actually i think it was no yeah it was no when you were in high school 10 years ago yeah 10 years ago and i, I and i can i can okay i'm gonna call someone Right now. Where's my phone? I'm calling someone right now that that might know. I'm gonna, go- I'm gonna Google it. Okay, you Google it. She probably won't pick up because she hates talking on the phone. Pick up. Uh, all right, so here it says initial release September twenty. Uh, initial release September twenty sixteen. Release worldwide after merging with Musically on August second twenty eighteen. So it's only four years old. Stable release March twenty twenty. No, I that's don't know what that's that America means. release. Look up the uh. The it, this, it said release worldwide after no. Original look at the musically. Asia the Asia release originally because that's where it started. It's Asia. Or it, it started in the United States, but no one used it, and it was mainly used in Asia. And the only reason why his initial yeah. release was 2016. That's like there's nothing earlier than 2016. Too bad my contact is not picking up because she's actually, she's got over a million likes um, or followers or some shit like that. And like she's someone that gets paid for her TikTok. And she's been doing it for a while, so I don't know. Who knows? I, I don't believe four it years. It first launched for, uh, for the China market in September 2016. I don't believe that bullshit. I'm, l- I'm reading a Wikipedia page now. Yeah, but sh- you got to question what you read online. You got to question it. No, you don't. Okay, I just don't like the answer. <laughs> all right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, puppy. Hey, puppy. Hey. Hey, puppy. What's the puppy's name? So, uh, 2017 was launched for iOS and Android markets outside of China. Okay, fine. What's the puppy's name? Oh, Pip. Yo, Pip. What's cracking? Yo, Pippity Pop Pop Pop. He doesn't talk. No, he doesn't. But no. he, he's really cute. He can talk. He just doesn't. It's like Bugle too. He he, actually the the most he talked recently was the other night when I walked out the door 
and I closed it behind me, and he's just barking at me. And he's like, bow, 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 bow. and he doesn't like ever do that, so he must have been pissed that I was leaving. It was adorable, though. Uh, it made me feel loved. <laughs> okay, so. Um, <coughs> yes. There's a. What are we doing? Oh, I don't know. There's an there's an article that I was really interested in reading, but I can't find it anymore. What was it? What was it on? It, it said something about TD Bank charging a woman thirty thousand dollars because she had to sell her house during the pandemic. So I don't know why, but I'm I'm assuming it's uh, a mortgage thing. Um, yeah, it's probably just mortgage penalties or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's probably mortgage penalties. But I, the whole thing is, is that, is that okay to do during the pandemic? Like, like she's trying to be responsible. Okay, she's trying to be responsible by selling her house, downsizing, and trying to you know get well, everything together. That's the again. thing with reading things online. You should question them because she could be spinning that in any direction she wants. In the end, she signed a contract with TD Bank for their mortgage. And uh, on the contract, it said that she wasn't going to do what she did. And that's why they're charging her. That's yeah, probably no, what it boils no, down no, to. But okay, so so you're saying that TD Bank, in in the mortgage contract, put a force majeure part of it, like a section of force majeure. If you sell early, then you pay but more But you know what force majeure fees. is? No. Okay, force majeure is act of God. And there's a lot of things you cannot claim for act of God, because like obviously, you know, it's okay. But like, like is she selling be like how like she's selling because of the pandemic? Because of the pandemic, so that's an reason? act of God. What so you she, cannot. Like, she she lost her job because probably like or she lost her business. Like, probably. What, so like, at what point is this supposed to be for for forgiving? How much is are of your mortgage are you supposed to not you shouldn't pay to keep your you house? shouldn't like, have to do anything if it's an act of God. But how's that an act of God? A pandemic is a virus. It wasn't man-made. It was natural. So it's an act of God. Like a hurricane would be. Yeah, but like, it's not like, so you're it's saying not like so the pandemic made your so house worthless. So it's so because the pandemic had an effect on, on your finances. So you're saying when the... It didn't change the, the value of the house or destroy the house, like a flood or an earthquake but or they're a tornado. Both, those are all act of God. Those are acts of God because they destroyed so your house. So is a pandemic. And, or they lowered the no, value no, no, of your no, no, house. No, no, you're just talking about houses now. I'm talking about anything. Like you could have film, film equipment and stuff like that. And if you do not buy the insurance for act of God, force majeure... Then, if there is a flood and all of your stuff is taken away, you are not insured. <laughs> so, yeah. so what I'm trying to say is, TD, unless they were very, very smart, probably never put a force majeure contract in there. Or there's no way for her to prove that it's definitively because of the pandemic that she chose to sell her home and didn't foreclose on a mortgage. I can see that. I can see that. It, it, it totally makes sense. You like, know what I'm saying? So she can't prove that. You it's can't because prove that you. She maybe she got fired before the pandemic. Yeah. Right. Right. So. Or like that you chose to sell the house, right? Like you chose to sell the house and it's the way that you come out on top and it's the right choice, but you chose to sell the house. Mm -hmm. And maybe if you had just lapsed payments and had and had to defer your mortgage, that then that would have been allowed because of uh, the pandemic. But that because you chose to sell and walk away from it, that you're still breaching the contract regardless of what made you decide to sell. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, no, if you I, want, I if totally you want to use that act of saying. God, then you've got to stick out the mortgage. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Like, I and, and honestly, I also don't know a lot about mortgages or anything, but I'm glad that we can speak about this stuff because I am learning at the same time. I mean, I, I mean, I think that's the reason why you don't get away with it, you know? No, that would make sense. Like that? That's, that would make sense, right? Like, I've seen a lot of issues with, um, so in, in the States, right, a lot of people are getting forced out of their homes right now. So um, what happens is uh, the landlord can um, obviously uh, try to, wh what is eviction? eviction? Evict you. Yeah, wow, force I can't you out of your yeah. residence. Yeah. yeah. So, so before the pandemic, it was, you would have to go through a lot of different lengths and a lot of different paperwork to try to evict somebody. Right now, there's no paperwork, really. It's just you got... Uh, told to go to court and 
since it's people's court or property court or something like that, you are not allowed to be represented. You cannot have a lawyer. Yeah, it's, it's self-represented because you're not you're not going to jail. Yeah, you're so not being prosecuted. So I think now I I don't know if they've when the the statute. I know that some places have put in a statute of limitation of some sort where you're uh, you're lawfully allowed to have some representation. So eviction has gone down, but right now it's been skyrocketing because no one can pay for any sort of representa- uh, representation. Well, they they can't obvi- they obviously can't even pay for their rent or anything like they exactly. It's not either like it's not <laughs> safe to live where they're living because there's riots and burning down buildings. But th- or like you know they're they're fleeing. So and the worst part is that if you are forced to show up in that court, you are now blacklisted. You are put onto a list. There's people there in like in that courtroom that take down your name and make sure that it's up updated so that these people these apartment buildings these property managers can actually vet you out and see if you're on that list and then just refuse you service yeah you're not allowed to rent here anymore or whatever crazy man i thought you said they don't speak english daniel english oh oh okay oh do i'm gonna go let him in Okay. Bye. To be honest, Pip does speak better English than I do. Yeah. You're pretty bad at English. I am. I didn't even know how to say evict. Evict. I s- is that not what I said? Avit. I think that's just my accent. You don't have an accent. I do. Being I do. dumb is not an accent. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I have an <laughs> accent. It's not predominant anymore, but the ways that I've said things since I grew up in Waterford haven't changed. So my accent is still my slang. And what do you say? What do you say? What do you say, Daniel? I say A's weird. You say A's weird? And E's. And E's? Yeah, like bag and beg. <laughs> bag and beg? Yeah, isn't that what I just said? Bag and beg. Bag and bag. And beg. Bag and beg. Uh, bagel, apple. No. Bagel? Yeah, bagel. Apple? Uh, so we say bag weird here, I think. Bag. 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 But Americans say bog. <laughs> no, they don't say it like that. They're like bag. Bag? Ba- I say bag. They say they must bag. Say, they must say ba- bog. <laughs> I always thought it sounded like a goat. Bog. <laughs> bog. Bog. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think you're just losing it. <laughs> no, I'm not. Losing touch with reality, Daniel. I'm not. They also say hacky instead of hockey. Hacky. Hacky. And I'm like, no, I'm talking about hockey, not hacky sack. Yeah, they don't like that when I say that. We do get a lot of lo- a lot of listeners from the United States, though, so that's okay. Really? Yeah, we do. Um, I'm still surprised by the Romanian listeners, but um, oh, who knows, man? And the s- and the Spanish listeners from Spania. I mean, I appreciate them. I Even though I they're probably just bots. I but if you're real people, then I'm sorry I said that. I don't think they're that they're just bots because they would actually have to listen to it. And it's not like if a, if it was a bot, there would be a lot of listens. It's just like two listens here and there. Strange. I know. I agree. It's not like I'm paying anyone to do it. Especially like in Spain. Yeah, like how would I con- like I don't know anyone in Spain. I am neither of us speak Spanish. I can say bate bate cho- chocolate. That does not count as speaking Spanish. That well, Dora says differently. Well, <laughs> I just I, I don't know, I don't even know where to go with that one. 
I'm well, that's how I learned most I'm of my gonna, Spanish. I'm taking a timeout, Dan. I'm taking a timeout from the podcast. Dora the Explorer. Oh my God. <laughs> you, can't, you can't handle I'll that. Be o- I'll be over here for a minute. Dora the Explorer. Bate, bate, chocolate. You got to mix the chocolate. You're, on, you're really making it worse. It's about mixing the chocolate. And you can take that whatever way you'd like. Um, butt sex? Did were you were you watching the episode of Vert with me when they they're talking about getting a finger in their ass? No. Okay, so they call up their wives. <laughs> no, oh my god. <laughs> they call up their wives. <laughs> and Bert is married to a comedian named uh Leanne. I fr- I don't know her last name. It's all right. We all know Leanne. Well, from the podcast, yeah. Yeah, so from the podcast. From <laughs> So Leanne's like, "No, no, I would no thanks. That's your poop shoot. <laughs> and then Tom, and then Tom calls his wife. Tom Segura. Yeah, it's Segura, and his wife is Christina. Uh, Sorry, we all know Christina. Yeah, that's right. So he calls Christina, and he's like, "Hey, babe, would you would you ever be willing to put a, a finger in my ass like during sex?" And she's like, "Yeah, if that's something that you wanted to do." He's like. Okay. <laughs> and he's like, I'll see you Sunday. Bye. <laughs> Anyone in particular? <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, he's like, yep, see you Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. He's just like, after it, he's like, puts down the phone. He's like, <laughs> 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 he's like so fucking excited. <laughs> he's like so excited. He's just, oh, he man. just wants a finger in his poop shoot. <laughs> I, I've, I've been debating it. I don't think I could do it. I couldn't do it. I don't know, man. There was well, there was one time I was super constipated, um, like r- painfully constipa- constipated. Wait, 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 wait. Is this gonna be a story about putting a finger up your butt? It's, uh, a, a pill up my butt. A pill. Yeah, a oh, pill. Okay. Okay, so I had to put a pill up my butt. A um, suppository. A suppository because that's the fastest way it's gonna act. Um, but I've never done that before, and I felt really weird. So. It took me two tries. <laughs> the first time I'm like putting it in there and I'm like, this is so weird. <laughs> it's just like to the point where I clenched so much that it just shot back out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. A little bit nervous. First time jitters. <laughs> Maybe if you relax, it, it won't hurt so much. Man, it fucking shot out like a, a gun. Like, <laughs> 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 so, I had to, uh, so try number two, I had to, I had to relax a little bit and and, and maybe s- lube it up. I would have, I should have sang Kokomo at that point in time. <laughs> Aruba, Bahama, come on, pretty mama. <laughs> <laughs> Or it'd be more like, <gasps> <laughs> man, it was so bad. Like, cause when I went to when I went to the shoppers to original originally pick it uh, pick it up, I didn't want a suppository. Obviously, I wanted something to, to just swallow. But any of the things that were they were selling it took three days to work. And that was too many days. Well, yeah, I would have been going on seven days of not pooping then. Well, I just take a laxative. That's what I'm saying. What well, laxatives take three days? I don't understand. Most laxatives do. That doesn't make sense. Well, that's why I bought the suppository. Because it worked fast. How fast? It worked in about two hours. Wow. Yeah. It's not for two hours. <laughs> but it still didn't even, it didn't even help that much. So, like, it was, it was st- I was still in a lot of pain. So, what I did was the next day, since I was working at La Tortilleria in Toronto, we had Los Name ca- dropping, Daniel. We had Los Campechanos, okay? Los Campechanos is um, like chorizo uh, pork with um, some beef and just, I don't even know the seasoning, man. It just fucking... Anyways, it's greasy, though, for these tacos. And you put some, like, onion guac and some lime on it, a little bit of cilantro, and then boom. But in about an hour... <laughs> you gonna poop. 
oh, you're you're taking a shit. <laughs> so that's what I did. The next day I went in, had some Los Campechanos, had them real good, and I shot my brains out and I felt amazing. Congratulations. At least it wasn't at your, your parents' house. Why do we have so many conversations about your poops on I this podcast? Um, because, uh, um, I mean, should we rename this episode from the outside episode that was maybe in actually just in a room to Dan talks about poop all day? If anyone truly knows me, and I know a lot of people that do listen to this, they know how much I talk about poop because I poop a lot. In your pants, no. out of your pants. N- well, yeah. Sometimes not at all, but then all at once. <laughs> like we've learned a lot here today. Usually I'm not constipated And anymore. knowledge is power, Daniel. Yeah. So so I'm I'm glad that everyone knows about my poop schedules because I do poop like two, three times a day. I think two is probably normal. Well, you're supposed to poop two to three times a day. Yeah. Okay. I also think pooping too much might be bad for you. Well, yes. I think. I don't really know. Could it be bad for you if you're supposed to do it? I mean. Okay, we need a doctor. I don't know. Do we know any doctors? No. Oh, fuck. We could probably, like, order a stethoscope online and pretend one of us is a doctor. I don't want you to play doctor on me. Just for the podcast. Yeah, I, you're just using it as an excuse now. <laughs> well, no, I was hoping you were going to be the doctor, but, like. I mean. Oh. And uh, before, so we're going to have to finish this up in a couple of minutes anyways. But before That's we what do she said. And I was like, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> just, just shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Cover her mouth. But we got to finish this up. Okay. So Okie dokie. Uh, um, so the way we're going to finish this up this time is just talking about uh, how we're going to have an, a guest coming up soon. Yes. Uh, his name is Justin Abelos. And Justin Ab- Justin Abelos. Yes. I'll, I'll I'll know it better. He's a, he's an amazing dude. Yeah, I'm gonna be sending you some stuff that he's worked on his his website and stuff too. Um, amazing photographer. Amazing photographer. Uh, he creates content that I've never been able to actually believe he created because it's so perfect. Like he should have been like making magazines while we were all in college. You know what I mean? Like he w- he had Photoshop down. He could do anything. Cool. L- I love him for that. He made a lot of magazines and posters and stuff for for uh, Face It. Um, but overall, he was just a great friend to me. And we had a lot of fun uh, hanging out together. He probably got pissed at me at the end of Face It because I was I was really rude. But whatever. <laughs> oh man, that that sounds exactly like you. It does sound exactly like me. Um, I was rude because I was. Um, yeah, people were just screwing me over right and left. So, uh, but anyways, I'm just I'm super glad that he agreed to be on this. We will get him to read some commercials though for it. Um, I told him in like a week or so. All right, cool. Because we need some time to think of some commercials. Well, I I told you one that I had, um, but you need to write down a commercial. That's a, that's on you right now. I'll find. I'll think. So, I'll think of something. Okay. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyways, I love you, Toby. Yeah, it's been swell. It's been swell. Uh, what are we calling this episode again? Uh, live on location in the backyard. And then maybe in brackets, not really. We're just in a room. Or are we? Or we can cut it down to live on location. Backyard edition. To backyard or not to backyard? Mm, I don't know. Um, maybe, well maybe, but maybe probably not. Um, back to the yard? We'll think of something. Um, anyways, uh, have a good day. Thanks for listening. Subscribe, subscribe follow um, me or... And and don't forget to uh, tell us how to make a theme song for this. Right. We don't know how. Right. We'll be posting that, too, in, a, in our group and on Facebook so everyone else knows 
um, as well because we want something awesome and I have no doubt that any of our listeners has that potential to do that for us. Um, so anyways, good night and have a good time. <laughs> <laughs>